All right, so my toilet's making this crazy noise. You can hear it here. I'm not gonna flush it, I don't wanna empty this thing. But uh, looked online how to do it, so I'm gonna do a quick video here. Hopefully it's quick. I never done one of these. And then my, so normally you turn the water off, but this one says, with by twisting it, this one says to pull it, to close it. Okay, so then stop the water. Let me see if I can empty this toilet bowl. Still got a little bit of water in there. So you want to get that out because once I about to unscrew this guy here on the bottom, if I don't have that water out, it's all gonna just, just drain out. Alright, so I'm going to pause this. I'm gonna go grab my shop back. So as you can see, I still got a little bit of water in the bottom. Just the way they designed this thing. They got a little gasket there. Once you you want you lift it up. Thinks it's empty, but it's actually some water down in there. So I'm gonna grab my shop vat and uh get that little bit of water out there. And real quick before I forget. So this is one more place with here. It's the Flu fluid master. It was like eight bucks, seven ninety-eight or seven eighty-nine or something like that. Um so it seems like it's going to be pretty straightforward. I'm not a mechanic, but um, I don't know if I watch somebody do it and then uh, just reading the instructions don't really work for me. I don't really learn that way. But this is all the stuff that came in at that. Let's see another little clip here. And it's kind of manual. Like I said reading stuff doesn't really help. I need to see like it's an actual video. So I was like, let me do a video maybe to help somebody else. And then I got this just in case getting that uh, that bolt off the bottom, that screw cap, whatever it's called, getting that off just in case it's a little challenging. I got this little guy. But anyway, let me go grab this shop vac, and then I got a towel down there to catch any water, but um, you can put a bucket or whatever and float your boat. But I'll be back. All right, I just learned something. Uh, we just moved recently, and I thought that my shop vac was in a box downstairs in the garage it says that's a shop vac box but there's no shop vac in it it's like old books and stuff so that's a new discovery that's what i'm gonna do here instead is see if i can dry some of this water up in here with some old towels instead it's not ideal but that's what i got so we'll see if we can make it do what it do uh, let's see Basket hanging out of here. I don't know what this one's up with that. So I've never done this before. I am a nurse by trade. I definitely claim to be a mechanic, but I've changed my own oil and stuff like that. And let me do some stuff. And if I know if I got a plumber here, it'll probably be, I don't know, 150 bucks or something. Between service call fees and whatever the fees they want to charge. All right. So that is done. So, all right. Most of this out. So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to see if this will come out. Let me just use my hands to twist. Should be left loosey, but I just want to do this one more thing. Let's see. So this is okay. So I actually twisted it right on mine. So, so I was saying, you see that water's coming out. Go back. Okay. All right. Let me 
that should be another. Okay, I'm gonna have to sit this phone down for a sec because I, I think I'm gonna need to. Yeah, that's kind of. So, so mine's got another butt on this. Doesn't have a whole lot of place. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to use my hands. I'm gonna have to use these pliers here. I'm gonna sit this phone up so you guys can see how I'm doing this. tired of hearing this uh, toy scream when uh, you flush it. Hopefully you guys can see me taking this off. Okay, so that's all. Uh, that's all. Uh, needs to come off this is the next one so that's out Twisting this here. Maybe it'll come out soon. Okay, I think that's pretty close. This this head on this one's a little bit bigger, but this thing says it's um it's universal, so shouldn't be an issue. took the other one off on here you can see so I'm gonna put that piece back on I need two hands to do this but I just want you guys to see and then there's a little knob in here um, when you go to put the water back in it's determine how much water you want in your in your toy bowl here in this tank um, let me see if it says on here uh, yeah, it says the water level sets the level tank for each flush. Easy twist height adjust from nine to fourteen inches to fit most tanks. Okay, so okay, all right. I'm gonna put this back on here. I'm looking forward to seeing. Put 
this guy from one. So this thing is actually twisting on to the left. Even though for most bolt screws it's to the left to loosen it. But this thing is the opposite way. Maybe it's the left of you sitting on the toilet, I don't know. So that's on, I got it just hand tight. Then I'm putting the other one on. Same thing, it's going to the left. flush part there this part is on just twisting it I'm accidentally flushing the toilet so I want to do something oh, that part came out dang it all right that's what happened trying to do stuff with it one hand I want to show you guys let's see Press on, and then this piece twisted some. That should be good there. Let me make sure this is okay. So I think that's it for that. So let me. So I, for mine, you on twist it, you push, uh, pull it to stop. So if you push it to refill it, and this hope this thing is tight enough and water can come out the bottom. All right, cool. And the water's coming out the bottom. So this got to fill up. And then we'll adjust the bowl. If this works, that was actually pretty easy. Maybe I'll be a plumber. If I wasn't trying to record this, I probably would have been done. stops at. And that actually looks like where my water was before I um before I change this guy yeah let me make sure this thing is good yeah no leaks there so here's the moment of truth. Let's flush and see if it's any noise. Bam! Hot right, damn. This works. No squealing. It's feeling good. Awesome. So that's it. It's so like eight bucks for tack and you got Milo's and military and you get, I don't know, 10-15% off, so it's even less than that. This is the brand I use. They got like a quirky brand I was getting ready to buy, but um, I was talking to one of the guys in there. He said, like, yeah, they work, but this is cheaper and they're older, older company. Um, so yeah, hope this video helps you guys. And um, if you get that weird squealing noise at the beginning or when you flush your toilet, then um, eight bucks and you can fix it. Let's do it again. Oh yeah, that's a good feeling. I'll say probably 150 to 200 bucks. Only pay $8 in a little time. All right, you guys be safe, take care.